All right, so this is a rare day in cycling, in global sport. A big name getting done um, for the doping. So, Niderman, uh, who I'm a big fan of, um, has got done for Tramadol. Now, Tramadol is a weird one, but we'll read this article and then we'll go on to my conclusion. So, two dried blood samples were given on the 8th and 13th of July during the 2022 Tour de France. Uh, as presence of Tramadol and its main metabolites, um, so therefore that is qualified in the Tour de France. Um, they can appeal this at, the, at CAS within the next 10 days. Um, they had 120 dried blood samples um, to get Tramadol. These are the first, oh no, sorry, basically then this bit, um, they're not anti-doping violations, so, and as it's Niderman's first uh, offence, he won't be banned. So he'll be doing the welter. Um, and this is an interesting part. Since the 1st of March 2019, they've banned Tramadol in competition um, to protect riders' health because there's obviously side effects. Um, they use dry blood spots, the ITAs, whatever. Um, and then this is just, you know, some more uh, sort of how they did the test. But anyway, let's, let's think about this more, more broadly. What does it mean? Well, it means that people are still taking drugs and cycling. Now, that is obviously not very surprising. Um, you know, it's obvious people aren't just having bread and water. They might be legal, they might be illegal, they might be in the grey line. But I think it goes to show that obviously like it's still a pharmaceutical sport, like all sports are like, you know, the people who are competing at the top, like will have certain medicine. Some of them will be legal, like corticosteroids out of competition. Some, some of them might not be um, like Tramadol now. Now I think it's good cyclists ban Tramadol. I don't think it, I've had Tramadol myself in hospital. It's, it's powerful stuff. Like it really whacks you out of, 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 um, of it. So it definitely should not be competing in sport. I also don't think it's good to have sport reliant on opioids so i think it's good um it's good that they've they've caught someone um i would argue that being disqualified in the tour is a pretty big deterrent okay it's not be getting banned but they can't really ban them because it's not technically banned under water and all the rest of it so you know it, it is what it is i think it's definitely a good step for cycling showing that they are doing drug testing if you don't test if you don't if no one tests positive that's bad news. That means you're not doing your job properly. It's not that no one's doing anything. It just means you can't test them. Um, the International Testing Agency, I'm very skeptical about. I don't think that's the best. I think that's a backward step for cycling using them instead of um, the the people they used to have was like the CPDF or something. And they were like a cycle specific one. Um, I think these people are associated with the Olympics and the Olympics has not a massive incentive to, to catch people. Um, so yeah, those are mainly my, my thoughts here. We, we can read this actually why they, they decided to ban, ban Tramadol. Um, cause I think it would be, um, yeah, so it's basically a painkiller. Um, yeah, so they can take, um, so there's dependence. There's also side effects like dizziness, drowsiness and all the rest of it, um, which are incompatible with competitive cycling and deja vu competitors. So yeah, sort of what, what I said before. Um, but yeah, I think it's interesting. I think I'm surprised that this has come out publicly. You know, it's very easy to cover it up. You could just say Nine Man, you know, can't can't race for a bit and his Tour de France has been annulled, but and sort of keep it under wraps. But I think it's good for sport, I think it's good for cycling that people are realizing that, you know, people still take drugs, um, and that people will get caught. I think that's the best way of going around it. I think trying to have zero positive tests is not good because it means you're not catching anyone. So all in all, Am I disappointed with Nider Man? Am I like heartbroken? No, not really. Does it change my view on Nider Man? Not really. Um, but I think, you know, if I was, you know, going into the sport more seriously, it would probably be good thinking that people aren't getting away with taking as much stuff as they used to. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It's professional sport. People are paid to win and uh, they'll try and do everything they can. Hey, leave me, let me know your thoughts below. Um, is this a shock? Is it good news for cycling? Is it bad news? Will sponsors go away? and everything else um but anyway i'll see you in the next